It happened here on Derby Street in Berkeley around midnight, the sound of gunshots. This man lives a few yes. blocks away, um, describes what he heard. I actually heard um, several shots, a pause, and I heard several more shots. Family of the deceased say they are shocked. My auntie just said, yeah, he, he's dead. I was, I just started screaming. Berkeley police say it's early in the investigation, but Officer Andrew Frankel told me that when officers arrived, they found one man lying here, where this number five evidence marker is placed. 45-year-old adult male, uh, the victim of apparent gunshot wounds. Shortly after, Berkeley police located another victim, a 26-year-old man found a block away behind the wheel of a car, Here's, dead. Uh, the driver of that car was here, involved in the shooting in some way, uh, was shot managed to get into a car. Officer Please. Frankel says that victim crashed into a parked car across the street. As for crime in the area, Frankel told me a few blocks over there's been trouble, but not here. And as far as homicides, he says the city is already ahead of last year's total. This is homicides uh, number eight and nine. Uh, generally, the city averages between five and 12 in a given year. Last year, we had five. And the last time Berkeley had double homicides, January 2002. But residents like Khalil Fahtauzi says it was just a matter of time before violence seen in larger East Bay cities started happening around here. Well, it's shocking to me and it's not. You know, we like to think that Berkeley is separate from the rest of the world, but um, it's not. Police say at this time, the relationship between the two victims is not known. Reporting from Berkeley, this is Hazik Medyun, Cron 4 News.